Hello, my name is Jay Haskamp, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today we are going to be going over the process of computing volumes and computing a 3D area in Trimble Access. The steps involved today are 1. Performing a surface-to-surface -surface volume computation in Trimble Access, and 2. We will compute a three-dimensional area. Once you have your pile surveyed in Trimble Access, select the Map button to open the map screen. Here you will see all the points that you've measured for your stockpile. First we need to create the base of the stockpile. Choose the outer points that are the base points or the points that are on the original ground around your stockpile. This will create a base surface that will help in comparing our calculations to give us a more accurate estimate of what the pile volume will be. It's important for this, ac for this to be accurate that you select the points at the base of the pile where the pile meets the existing ground. Once you have your base points selected, tap and hold down on the screen and select Create Surface from the list. Give your surface a name. Since this is our base of our pile, we're simply going to call this Base. Pick OK. You will now see a surface in your map screen that was created based on the points on the base of the pile that you selected. To clear the selection, tap and hold and pick Clear Selection. Now we need to create a surface with the actual stockpile points. You can simply draw a box to select all of the points on the pile. Notice that the base points at the base of the pile, where the pile meets the ground, are in both surfaces. Again, tap and hold and choose Create Surface from the list and give it a name. Now you can see we have two surfaces in our map screen, both a base surface and a pile surface that have common points between them to tie them together at the base of the pile. Pick Escape and now go to Kogo and Compute Volume. When we compute a volume, we have many options. We can use Above and Elevation, Avoid Volume, Surface to Elevation, Surface to Surface, Stockpile slash Depression, or Surface Area. In this example, we are going to do a surface to surface calculation. Our initial surface will be our base, and our final surface that we're interested in the volume will be our pile. Choose the Calc button, and here you will see our volume details. Our cut volume is obviously zero and our fill volume is 1,886 cubic meters. Look at the details and if you wish to store them in the raw data, you could choose Store and report them later. Now we are going to do a surface area. Surface area allows us to take one of our surfaces that we've created in the database and get a three-dimensional area based on all the points. Go back to Kogo and compute volume, and this time from the list choose surface area. Select the surface that you wish to get your area for, and you will see the three-dimensional surface area based on that surface. You can also specify a depth of material, in this case we're going to do two meters, and calculate a volume of that surface area with that depth of material to get a total volume. Again, you can store this into the raw data and report on it later if you like. That concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk on computing volumes and 3D areas and Trimble Access. Hopefully you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.